All right, guys, we're back. Hopefully my signal will hang on today. Everybody's like, who cares? Um, but that's, I've just got so many titles now. I just, I understand that once things are going wrong, you're just going down the wrong path. Once you're training a dog that isn't looking at you, that's what you're going to end up with. Hi, Jill. Um, Wilson's sister might be coming in. I got to do a little Wilson, uh, little collage of his recall because oh, hi Timothy surprise surprise I, I do understand people see the videos and then it's not matching up with what their dog is doing at home so they have to face the fact we must be doing something wrong um, You know, and I'm, I'm just putting him out of my eye line, but that's just, I'm systemically doing it. I'm not making weird, jerky movements to try to move the dog out of my eye line. I'm just going to tell you, if, if you're a person who says, no one has ever gotten bored with me, I actually have packs of people following me around, screaming and trying to get my attention all the time. I'd say, okay, Billy Joe Armstrong, but you're not like everybody else. You know, so I think the first thing we have to say to ourselves is I'm, I'm not going to operate from a thing where this dog is going to do it because it loves me because that's not the behavior's viewpoint. This dog can't get enough of me, but it's because I'm keeping it close to the vest. I'm not all on the door. I didn't spend 20 minutes inside rubbing, hugging, patting on him, and then saying, come on outside and be interested in me. I see that dog all the time, but I systemically move it out of my eye line until, you know, I want it. I know this towel is just, oh, it's absolutely awful. You know, to the point he's saying to himself, oh, hi, Karen. Oh, Karen. Right after I put that first comment, I went out in the garage, I dug around in the cabinet out there, and I found the treat and train. Well, surprise, surprise. Food had got left in it, too. So I get it all cleaned out. It only needs uh, AA batteries, which I have, uh, but maybe they weren't charged. But I put them in there, and then now it's not working, so I decide to open up the remote. This is where it all went south. I open up the remote, and, of course, everything in the inside of the remote just falls out. <laughs> Now I look at the battery or whatever. I don't have that battery, so I said I'll just put the remote back together. Well, fast forward 20 minutes after me saying five. What ridiculous! Who invents this stuff? You know, I couldn't get it back together, and I actually couldn't get it, make it where it would fit, and I could. So it's not back together. All right. So what I think and where people go wrong, you guys. If you said, well, the people brought the dog to me and they said it's jumping up, so I corrected that real quick. Well, you screwed yourself then. You screwed yourself then. You said, I don't like any excitement, happiness, or whatever, because you're not understanding, you know, that the dog is jumping up and down because that's what the people got all excited when it did before. You know, so now you've killed that off. It's never going to do it. I really think the platform... <laughs> oh, he's Johnny on the spot. I still haven't looked at him, though. So he says to himself, on my own, I can do behaviors. I, I, I'm not, everything isn't being told for me to do. I think that's where people go wrong. If we're just going to, okay, I'm going to command it to do all these behaviors. Ugh, that's going to be too exhausting. You know, and I'm very, I'm very... That's where I see people going wrong, too. They're giving it the treat wrong. Everybody's like, oh, my God. <laughs> That's too much. But it is, I want you to say, I'm, I'm very, I don't add, and, and Bounty's owner did that. She added a little physical postscript to giving it the treat. She gave it the treat. Let me do it to Skylar. She gave it the treat. And then she went on its face. And if you said, what did they, oh, that ruined everything. It ruined everything. So you don't want to do that. <laughs> oh my God, what can we do? You, you can, honestly, I've got, you can be situationally aware all the time and 
say to yourself, it's going to be very ego building for this animal if it thinks it's got some control of the situation. To take sentient beings and strip them of all control, you're going into a different realm. You are. You're going into a different realm. That's, you know. And if you said, what realm? The shutdown realm. Anyway, I haven't even done my page yet or I haven't even said anything. So I'm saying to myself, though, if the dog will default to these behaviors and it understands what they are, then I can start doing as a commanded behavior. And, it's, you know, I mean, honestly, if you're really training them, at some point you are looking for micro refusals. This dog's had macro refusals. But, you know, if you said you were really training it, you know, you're looking for micro refusals. And, Timothy, I know you remember back in the day it used to be, part of the, uh, hi Linda, part of the uh, training process was debolting dogs. That's what you did, you debolted them. All right, so I'm gonna get him up here just with the, with, that was just with the page. All right, listen, all the people wanna see you dance. So now I'm, I'm taking it up one notch. I'm speaking with the pager. And I'm just following through like that was the verbal command. Don't maybe you can get oh you can get over here. So I can move them back and forth. If you said how how much you want to be able to micro move the dog. That's not even a micro move. There's mo there's moves smaller than that. Yeah, oh be careful. But I'm not touching the dog at all. If you said he thinks he, you're finna rub his ears and he's gonna do it better. <laughs> not at all. It's, it's, oh, it's, you know, you're just thinking of it as, you know, you've gotta say I've got total respect for the dog's personal space. That's where people go wrong. If someone is always coming at you wanting to, it's Jerry on Seinfeld where he didn't wanna get the kisses anymore. You know, it just, it's too much, and they just honestly want to just live an unencumbered life. You know, he tries to get me to give him butt scratching. All right, but I put up the little low jump. Oh, I know. I'll do the do as I do trick. All right, this is going to be a record breaker if he can do it. World's lowest, world's lowest. <laughs> oh, yay! Oh, my goodness. Here's the best we've ever had. You've got to have the cheerleader aspect. If everything is just, yes, and you don't even use that word, I'm telling you. ball it went right out of bounds but yay you know you're evolving out of that but I'm not making him jump luring at all and the reason I don't like luring is because it's going to come back to haunt you later they're going to understand you're capable of luring and if you said what is it trying to get them to do something they don't want to do so later if they don't want to do something they may look at you as so they're trying to lure me one more time with the jump. Our final goal is he's going to be able to, this is when he get his, gets his master's, Kimberly Ann. He's able to go get the dumbbells and go over the jump and then do a dance and then get back on the platform, go back over the jump, get another dumbbell, come back and do more dancing. <laughs> and that's it. When he is able to accomplish all that, <laughs> you know, but he'll move with me. Oh, <laughs> As much as possible, you want to try to get him to model your behavior. 
So I'm not really moving my upper body. He's modeling my feet. And I'm just, I'm adding the pager. So cute. All right, Kimberly Ann wants to see you jump again. Let's go. So I think if you set your platform up, oh, he likes Skylar. said what will that result in him if he says to himself how can i make that better hi monique this is the cutest damn dog ever okay so hang on i gotta go grab some more treats but i'm gonna do the little drill but that was you know you've got to i understand that when dogs first come and they jump on me i don't have any reaction because i'm not gonna say i hate happiness that's what you're saying i hate happiness don't jump around at all. I'm not delaying at all. The rewards are instant. <laughs> faster than instant. It's fast, faster than fast food. It's instant food. You're just creating behaviors and that's where people go wrong. They want to create commanded behaviors, but you really can't have commanded behaviors if those behaviors aren't there. All right, hang on. That's how he waits at the door, but um, that's very important to understand. People want it to obey all these commands, but if the dog is, doesn't have those behaviors, that's not going to happen. The chance of it happening is slim to none, just because the behavior isn't in the dog. You can tell it to come fast all you want. It's not going to do it if it doesn't have the behavior. All right, so hang on. Let me move my hose real quick. But I'm keeping him out of my eye line. Ah, oh, he's busy trying to just... Oh, he's oh, yeah. oh, am wonderful. Oh, am wonderful. Oh, it was absolutely perfect. So now he's saying to himself, Oh, that seems to be its favorite. Oh, this one too. Uh, don't you see, Kimberly? And I got a one dog circus just with this thing here. But that was if if I if he had jumped on his own and I hadn't, I that you know. If you would, if you said, well, what did that, it's a missed opportunity. It's a missed opportunity to say, you know, I mean, I may be able to even raise it a couple inches. He's not the jumping type. All right. So I want to do my basket drill real quick. So I've got my, and I want to be careful because I don't want to get it too far away. And I'm saying to myself, it's all, let me break it down. And this is what I've got him doing. Let me move this footstool so you can see, but I'm morphing it into a trained retrieve by virtue of just, he'll default to it, and now I can get him to do it with the pager. <laughs> oh, am adorable. Oh, and he's patient. He knows I don't know. And what I say about the treats, if you can't be fast, be fumbly. <laughs> The last thing you'd want to do is say, wait, 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 but at least act like you're trying to do it. And they're saying, oh, it's trying. It's trying. It's, it's, it's doing the best it can. All right, hang on. So I got my pager. You know, if you said, when are you doing the pager? I mean, when? It, the, that's the good thing about the pager. You can move it around. 
there's way more margin for error it, because it isn't like the constant. You can move it around. You can put it at different places in the sequence. It's hard to understand if you're not, if you've never really had the pager, I know, but you're not going to do, I can honestly do the pager with this dog any place in this sequence and it will probably make sense. All right, there's my pager. That was my pager. That was my pager. <laughs> I'm looking at my basket. I only did it with two though to make it. Looking at the basket. There's my pager. <laughs> you know, and he's got to see. He, oh, he's buying that hook, line, and sinker. Based on that behavior, she now believes I'm the cutest dog in the world. I, I can definitely do that again. You know, that's what he's saying. You know, if I go get my Doberman out and it jumps and Billy Joe Armstrong likes that, I keep doing that. Everybody's like, what? <laughs> no, Angie Marie. Angie Marie's uh, Maverick's co-owner, as we say. Uh, so, you know, whatever, he, he's buying that hook, line, and sinker, and you can see he's, he's still not leaving the handler. You know, that's what you have to ask yourself, how, if this dog is right next to you and not looking at you, you know what I mean? You've got to resolve that before you can do anything else, because if it's right there and it isn't looking at you, it's not going to be looking at you as it gets farther and farther out of your orbit. I'm right there. I'm soccer mom, ready to catch them. Oh, oh, I'm soccer mom with snacks after the exhausting workout. I'm adding the pager right. I'm going to do it. I could do it when he's jumping or just in conjunction with. Oh. Remember, if the kid kicks the ball out of bounds, you still love it. You know, you're setting up an ego building. Oh my wonderful. You know, you've got to be that good with giving them the treat. If you said, what do I see, your average person. It's exhausting to coach your average person because their timing is so bad. And that guy the other day, oh no, I blocked him the supposable intern. I didn't want that guy to come over here. I'm never going against my gut instinct again. He could not stop elbowing those dogs. If someone's sitting down can't stop elbowing a dog that's next to him, what are they going to do if a dog jumps up on him? <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh my God. I was screaming at this guy coming in. Uh, anyway. Oh no, Molly. No, 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 Heather. Oh no, you didn't seem to understand. Molly works here as a janitor. No, she's not here full time. She actually lives with a lady that drives a Buick. She picks her up and drops her off every day at work, and she cleans up all the... You've got to have that. Too many crumbs on the ground, you know. It attracts ants, and it distracts the dogs. So I've got my little cleanup crew. <laughs> anyway, I hope that helped. But you guys saw, I, I didn't touch the dog at all during this session, and it still can't get enough of me. And I think, you know... You know, I'm saying I like jumping. Jumping is my job. Oh. oh, the world's lowest, the world's, you know, you don't take your kid to soccer the first day. All right, I'm going to see if I can get him. I'm going to get him cranked up a little, and we'll see if we can get him to, oh, leap. I know he's got the ability to leap a little bit. Oh. But it's the exact same thing, the exact same place. If you said you could just put a little treat cup right there, the little, the little Kelly's Minder that would spit the treat out and do the pager and all that, you could. If the pager only happened when it went through the jump and it did nothing, you, a robot could do it. A robot could do it. All right, guys, I'll be right back.